All right, let's get to the third story, which is the pay slump uh, at Goldman Sachs. So this is not just Goldman Sachs. This is like bank-wide, right? It's a bank-wide pay slump. So I think what was interesting about the story was Goldman Sachs was leading with 61% decline on average, then uh, followed by Deutsche Bank, Morgan Stanley. It's very interesting to me because the average decline in compensation is only about 14%. So 61% is quite staggering. There is a bigger picture story here. Really, what you're seeing is a decline among traditional investors and banking trading operations, whereas, look at that chart, Bank of America is not on it. Uh, JP Morgan is a little closer to the tail end, and you see the, the a real shift towards money going to wealth management, consumer businesses, where these banks are really growing. Do you think this is a structural shift among the investment banks about sort of like trying to cut costs in the trading operations and uh, boosting the cost basically in other parts of the bank, especially the fee-based activities? I do think it's structural, certainly for trading to investment banking to be seen. A question I've been asking for the last five years really is, is the cost of a banker going up? Because you see the rainmakers in investment banking go off to the boutique banks, but the trading desks, right, the example we always use, Goldman, a 500-person trading desk is now down to about three people, right? <laughs> So you just don't need the people there anymore for trading and then uh, to be seen for the other parts of investment banking.